A YAG laser procedure is um, a procedure that we do to clear scar tissue that, that develops in roughly one out of four cataract patients post-surgical. Um, it can happen early after cataract surgery. It can happen years later. So when you come in for your examination to determine if you are a candidate for the ag laser, we dilate the eyes. We do an extensive health um, check. We will check your retina, um, your eye pressure, and make sure that you don't have anything else going on that needs addressed. So it's a painless procedure. It literally is 20 to 30 seconds. Um, if you've had your eyes examined before, you know, when you're sitting in the um, microscope, the laser is a lot like that. You know, patients are sitting upright. They don't feel anything. They see some flashes of light. And like I said, it's, it's 20 to 30 seconds. There's no healing process afterwards. There's no drops they have to use. When you wake up the next day and your dilation is worn off, you're, you're going to see better. If you have floaters, they can become a little bit more noticeable afterwards. They should settle down within two to three weeks. If they don't, if you see flashes of light or you have you know, persistent decrease in vision, that would be a reason um, to give us a call. And if we determine you need the procedure in both eyes, we'll be able to do the worst one the same day of the examination and we'll have to schedule a, a time for you to come back for the other procedure. Um, when you do come back for the second procedure, it's a much quicker, um, since we've examined both eyes, it's, you go straight to the surgery center. We dilate just the eye that's being treated and you're here for about a half an hour. It's a lot quicker. If you think of your initial cataract, it's kind of inside of a shell. Okay, so your surgeon opens the, the front part of that shell and, and takes your lens out. The back part of that shell stays in your eye, and then your implant sits inside of that. It's called the capsule. What, what happens um, when you develop this um, film, it's actually the back part of that capsule then, or that shell, is it's developing scar tissue. So instead of... Um, that membrane being clear, it starts to look like wax paper. So you can you know, definitely tell that if you ripped off a piece of wax paper and tried to see through it, it's gonna affect your vision. So what the laser is doing is coming through and creating an opening in the back part of that shell. So it gets all that scar tissue out of your line of sight. The edges are still in there holding on to the implant. If you develop um, capsular haze, it is a medical diagnosis, so it is covered by insurance um, to the tune of, of what your cataract surgery was covered. So we have patients that have met their deductibles. They don't have co-pays, so they, there would not be an out-of-pocket expense. But of course, our, our staff is going to look into that and let you know if there would be prior to us doing any sort of treatment. If you're told by your, your optometrist that you have this diagnosis, definitely not something to fear. It is easily taken care of. It's something that we routinely do. I'd have to say it's one of the most benign procedures that we um, perform, and it really would help you get back to the vision that you had right after your cataract surgery. And importantly, it's a one-time treatment. So, yeah, it's not something that you have to worry about it's gonna come back next year, it's gonna come back 10 years. It's one time.